All right, let's do a comparison video of the LX470 and the Land Cruiser, which is known both as the 100 series, both built in Japan. And in today's video, I'm not gonna sit behind the wheel and talk for 40 minutes. I'm actually gonna show you the vehicles. So, first off, to know some numbers, the 2006-2007, um, and these are both 2007, uh, was the last year they made the 100 series. The LX started as an LX450 in 1996. So they basically took the, the 480, the, uh, the Land Cruiser, and slapped an LX badge on it at the beginning. And slowly but surely, they made changes like leather as, as the years went on. A little bit, you know, nice creature comforts and what have you. But by 2007, believe it or not, they had crossed the 100,000 mark for uh, vehicles in production uh, made over that time. In the last two years, this model of the LX470, they made uh, the last two years about 8,000, while with the Land Cruiser, they made about 6,600. So you saw kind of a crossover. They started making more LXs than the Land Cruiser. But from uh, for the 100 series of these two trucks, they made uh, almost the same amount. So from 98 to 2007, the run of the 100 series, they made about 80,000 LXs and 81,000 Land Cruisers. And after this last model of the 2007, uh, when they moved to the 200 series or the LX570, believe it or not, they made just over half as many. They made 55,000 LX 570s so far compared to just over a, um, 100,000 LX uh, 470s, which includes the LX 450. So they're kind of slowing down a bit. Now, some of the differences between these two trucks is the taillights, both LED, but obviously the style, the Lexus style was pretty nice. Both came with the tow hitch package. And a lot of people think that's aftermarket, but in 2007, that's actually a dealer option. They put on the chrome tailpipe. Oh yeah, and speaking of 80 series, there's my uh, 80 series Otis, which deserves its own video at some point that I'll post it later on. And going over to the Land Cruiser, both LED lights again, and that was 06, 07. They started doing the LED lights on both these trucks. And then the engines, uh, the VVTI. So they moved to a 275 horsepower engine, up about 40 horsepower from the previous engine on both these trucks. So structurally, everything is the same. These both have the, the automatic height control, which is automatic on the LX, and on the Land Cruiser is an option. Although I say an option, it came on probably two-thirds of the Land Cruiser, so either conventional suspension system or the AHC, which can be found on all the Lexus 470s. Of course, the wheels are different, so there's a different uh, style, both five-star five uh, pattern. Both have floating front hubs. And the other big distinctive differences, of course, is the lights. So Lexus style, before they went to a solid light with the 570, and of course the Land Cruiser. Both beautiful trucks. The difference in the paint now is on that LX, that's crystal white pearl, an incredible paint, and it pops. It's extra white for 06 and 07 compared to the, kind of like the uh, Blizzard Pearl, which had a little bit of a yellow tone to it. And then the Land Cruiser, you can see it's a one coat process which means the clear coat and the white are mixed together. So a little bit more maintenance. You gotta buff out that uh, oxidization as I did in this case. But once you do, that white pops and it makes for a beautiful paint. The other thing that's known to kind of fail on the paint of these trucks is right here. Not this part of the molding, but right here. That. Uh, in this case, this one's been painted over, so it's survived, but it's a kind of a weak paint um, that they put on that plastic molding and that fades over time. A simple solution when it does fade is what I did here. So this was faded on this side, so I actually replaced it with vinyl. And that gives it a nice finish, and that vinyl, just like they wrap cars, 
is going to stay good for a long time. That's the molding on the Land Cruiser. On the LX470, they do a cladding with a nice little chrome piece there and then a bottom, bottom cladding work that's on the car. So now let's get inside and see the difference here. So Lexus has the creature comforts. Now, um, I'm not going to do a side-by-side -side video. You could actually open up a second window and uh, put them side-by-side -side yourself. Just mark the time and look at the difference of the interiors. But let's get her turned over. Both pretty much have the same dash. It's just you're going to get, you know, wood grain um, finishing on the door. A little bit different and you get the mark levinson uh, sound system the subwoofers usually go out on them people spend 550 bucks for a new one all you have to do is get a new foam rim on that speaker for about 15 dollars and install it but here's the difference of the dash you get the nice led uh, looking needles very clean very nice and the steering wheel is le leather wrapped in the land cruiser but you get this nice finish on the uh, on the wood with lots of coats of clear coat that make it so nice and sweet so there's the interior and in the back pretty tough to tell the difference now the leather quality in the lexus is going to be a little higher than the land cruiser i think one's majestic one's imperial the different names they call them but a little bit of a softer supple leather in the lexus but apart from that, engine, suspension, it's all Toyota parts. You go to Lexus to get something done to your engine or new parts or pads or brakes, you name it, it's all Toyota, even though this has the Lexus badge. They all came out of the same plant in Japan. Okay, let's now go over to the Land Cruiser. Now again, between the two of these, we talked about the molding, the different backlights, of course, a little bit more chrome that's sitting on the back of that LX470. So obviously a fancier car. And some people say, well, why are Land Cruisers so much more expensive than the Lexus? And it's true, secondhand, they're more. And it's pretty simple why. Supply and demand, um, near the end, they made a little bit less of the Land Cruisers than the LX. And for the most part, the Lexus, well, it was professionals, chiropractor, doctors, um, attorneys, real estate agents buying this because it's fancy, it made a statement. And even though the body, everything's the same, the Land Cruiser, well, to some, it's a little bit you know, understated. I don't think so, I love it, I love the look. But they say the average Land Cruiser owner owns it 10 years. And think about it, I've leased these uh, throughout the years. So I'd own them three years at a time. So if the average person owned it 10 years and some people are leasing, that means there's a lot of original owners that have these versus the LX470. Probably on average changes hands three, four times, even though the one you see here is a one owner. And this Land Cruiser here is also a one owner. So let's get inside and see the difference of the dash if you happen to open up a second window and wanted to do a side-by-side. -side. So same thing, interior-wise, seats, everything in the back, the same. The door, notice there's no wood, it's just leather, still nice. And even though there's no wood on the center dash and the console, I love just that that matte black finish, it's beautiful. The steering wheel, leather wrapped, and let's get the everything lit up here. So as you can see in the Lexus, um, everything lit up nicely on the dash. This one, a little bit more, I guess, I don't want, it's subtle, normal, not boring, maybe a bit, but the needles are just orange, nothing lights up, but everything, uh, is the same you know mechanically uh, readouts um, the whole system here exactly the same and in this case it has the automatic height control same system that's in that Lexus 
And I do swear by that system. That system actually makes these trucks safer. It's quite, quite incredible. It's hydraulic, not air. So that means when you're driving in uh, windy roads and you have the suspension in sport, this thing handles like it's on rails. It's like a Porsche. And if you slam the brakes, you get no nose dip. You don't get any, it just stiffens up like within milliseconds with that hydraulic fluid. So it's not air suspension, it's hydraulic. Do not confuse this with a uh, Range Rover product. Hydraulic is better than air. So there's the interior of the Toyota compared to the Lexus. Okay, now let's take a peek at the engines. Now notice the, the bonnet, the hood, bonnet for you, for those of you in the UK, which actually don't get these trucks, guzzles too much gas. <laughs> but notice how the hood on the Land Cruiser opens up just above the grill, where the uh, Lexus, it uh, has the grill up with it. So let's just look at the Land Cruiser first. So it's the 2UZFE engine, 4.7 V8, plenty of power. In the corner there, left corner, that's your hydraulic reservoir. This engine, super clean, very nice. And all of this is just a plastic cover, really serves no purpose other than making it look nice. And then, same engine in the LX470, the 2UZFE engine. VVTi, 275 horsepower, which is 40 horsepower up from its um, predecessor year 2005. And actually it was 230 horsepower in 98 through uh, 2001, I believe. So same engines. Front bumper, just to compare. A little bit different, that center piece, separating the two open air vents versus the Land Cruiser. But in 2007, Land Cruiser did a nice job with their grill, full chrome. They weren't always nice like that in the earlier years. All right, so let's get those hoods closed. Presto, there we go. So to recap, between the two of these 100 series, they made about 160,000, 81,000 of those Land Cruisers, and 80,000 of the LX470s. So finding a rust-free clean one is really nice. If you get these, the, the last two years of this model, um, the 0607s combined, there's probably uh, about 15,000, 16,000 out there. So not a lot. And a lot of people, what they do is on the, uh, if they have an older LX with 16 inch wheels or even the 14 inch split uh, five spokes, if they can get their hands on these, they buy those wheels, automatically give kind of an updated look on the LX 470. So you can make a, a 2000, 2001, a 99 look a little bit more like a 2006. But you wouldn't be fooling anybody with the engine. If they're going up a hill with you, they'll know the difference between an 0607 and an older model. And then the Land Cruiser, the wheels were always five, five star like this, 16 inch and then 18 inch. And then in the later years, they do a nice satin finish on them. Both of them, exceptional ride quality. Both of them built to last 600,000 miles. Both of them, same engine. You gotta do your timing belt. That's the you know the main one to do every 90,000 miles. And both of them, you cannot go wrong. So even if you find one in the 160 to 240 mile range, just look at the service. Make sure the service is done. And if it is, that truck will ride just like it the day it did off the showroom floor. And maybe in a future video, I will do a video on Ted. That's a my FJ62 out there. Great truck, but that V6 leaves it wanting a little bit. Built to last, just like these are. All right, well, thanks for tuning in. And if you pick up an LX470 or Land Cruiser out of the 100 series models from 98 to 2007, you can't go wrong. And if you get an 0607, well, know that you got the best of the best of the 100 series. 
they just don't make them like this anymore.